Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Balakrishna. In this video, I am going to explain in class 10, chapter 2, polynomial civil syllabus. This, this syllabus is recently introduced in AP K. New textbook syllabus 2024-25. So, example 2. Find the zero. Zero means what? The value of variable. Okay, the value of variable of a polynomial is called zero or root or solution. Okay, so here which numerical value you can substitute in the polynomial? That numerical value is called zero or root or solution. Okay, so find the zeros of quadratic polynomial. Polynomial means what? The degree of terms of an algebraic expressions are non-negative integers. So here x square plus 7x plus 10. Here how many terms are there? Three terms. This is a algebraic expression. In this having how many terms are there? Three terms. So the degree is how much? 1. The 2 here. Here the degree is how much? 1. Here the degree is how much? 0. The degree of constant term is 0. Okay. So what the degree of these three terms? 2, 1, 0. So the degree of terms are non-negative numbers. Okay. Or whole numbers. Okay, is called polynomial. Okay, so here quadratic polynomial means what? A polynomial having the degree is two. That is called quadratic polynomial. So this is a this is a quadratic polynomial. Why? Because this polynomial having degree is how much? Two. Okay, and verify the relationship between zeros and the quotients. Okay, here we know that formulas. Okay, here the general form of quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c. This is the general form of quadratic polynomial. So, in this polynomial, having how many zeros are there? Two zeros. For linear polynomial, having one zero. For quadratic polynomial, having two zeros. For uh, cubic polynomial, having three zeros. Biquadratic polynomial, having four zeros. The degree is n of the polynomial, having how many zeros? n zeros. So, this is a quadratic polynomial. For this quadratic polynomial, how many zeros are there? Two zeros. So, what are they? Let us take. You know that alpha and beta. So, these are the numerical constants. In mathematicals, the numerical constants is what? Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, j and so on. So, here I can take that only two. What are there? Alpha, beta. So, here what the relation? Sum of the zeros, alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. B is the word x quotient. A is the word x quotient. So alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. Alpha into beta is equal to c by a. Sum of the zeros is minus quotient of x by quotient of x square. Product of zeros is constant by quotient of x square. Okay. So that is the formulas for verification of zeros and quotients of a quadratic polynomial. What are they? Alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. Alpha and beta is equal to c by a. So first for this equation, you can find the quadratic polynomial. For this quadratic polynomial, find the zeros. Okay, before find the zeros, let us first find the factorization for this polynomial. So here, let us take, let us take p of x. p of x means what? Polynomial with variable x. So p of x, x square plus 7x plus 10. So for this quadratic polynomial, find the factors. How can find the factors by using splitting method? So 10, how you can write 5 to each other? So using 5 and 2, the sum or subtraction is become x quotient. Splitting means what? The middle term we can divide into two parts. Okay, splitting the middle term using first term and last term. So, here the last term, 10, how do you can write product 5 into 2? So, using the 5 and 2, we can write as x quotient, the sum or subtraction. So, 5 plus 2 is how much? 7. 5 minus 2 is how much? 3. Okay, but here plus 7. So, here we can take that 5 plus 2. So, here we can write as x square plus 5x plus 2x plus 5 from the first two terms what are the common x x of x plus 5 from the last two terms what are the common 2 2 of x plus 5 so what is the common total x plus 5 is common here x plus 5 here x plus 5 so the x plus 5 taking common what the remaining x plus 2 so p of x is equal x plus 5 into x plus 2 
So here now find the zeros. So let p of x is equal to zero. So x square plus seven x plus ten is equal to zero. So in the place of x square plus seven x plus ten, we can add the factors. So x plus five of x plus two is equal to zero. The product of two polynomials is zero. If the first one is zero, or second one is zero, so that is here. X plus five is equal to zero. X plus two is equal to zero. Plus five is going to be equal to minus five. Plus two is going to be equal to minus two. So how many zeros are there? Minus five and minus two. So minus five, minus two are the zero sum. Zero sum. X square plus seven x plus ten. So what the first question? Find the zero sum for any polynomial x square plus seven x plus ten. So what are the zeros? Minus five and minus two. Next, verify the relationship between the zeros and the quotients. See here, let alpha is equal minus five, beta is equal minus two. So alpha, beta are mathematical constant. Okay, so alpha is equal minus five, beta is equal minus two. So here, now the polynomial x square plus seven x plus ten is comparing with is Comparing with a x square plus b x plus c, when it is comparison, a value is how much? Here x square quotient there is no x square quotient that is one. Here x square quotient is a that is a value is one. Here x quotient is seven. Here x quotient is b. B is equal seven. Here constant ten. Here constant is c. C value is ten. So what the relation? Sum of the zeros is minus b by a. Product of zeros is c by a. So first, alpha plus beta. Alpha is minus five. Beta is minus two. So minus five minus two minus seven. So here minus seven by one. Minus seven is greater than minus seven by one. So minus seven is the what? B. B value is how much? Seven. Next, alpha into beta is minus five into minus two minus minus plus minus plus Five to the ten. Ten to the ten is ten by one. So yeah, we know that relation. Alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. That is minus b value is seven, a value is one. That is minus seven. Next, alpha into beta is c by a. C value is ten by one. That is equal ten. So sum of the zeros is minus seven. Product of zeros is ten. Next example three. Find the zeros of the polynomial x square minus three and verify the relationship between zeros and the quotients. So here p of x is equal to x square minus three. P of x means polynomial with variable x. So here let p of x is equal to zero. So x square minus three is equal to zero. Minus three is going to be divided by plus. So x square is equal to three. Square is going to be divided by square root. For the square root, how many normal values are there? Two values. The square of any integer has normal values. Two values. What are the plus and minus? So x is equal to square root three plus or minus three. X is equal to root three, and x is equal to minus root three, plus root three and minus root three. This one you can do another process also, ma. Here. X square minus three. We can write as root three whole square. Square square root cancel. We get three. So x square minus root three whole square is equal to zero. A square minus b square. That is a plus b of a minus b. That is x plus root three of x minus root three is equal to zero. So x plus root three is equal to zero. X is equal to minus root three. X minus root three is equal to zero. X is equal to root three. So what are the values of x? Root three and minus root three. So here root three comma minus root three are the zeros of x square minus three. So find the zeros of the polynomial x square minus three. What are the zeros? Root three minus root three. Next verify the relationship between the zeros and the quotients. So here, let alpha is equal to root three, beta is equal to minus root three. So first sum of the zeros 
alpha plus beta that is root 3 plus minus root 3 plus it minus minus root 3 minus root 3 that is equal to 0 next product of zeros alpha into beta root 3 into minus root 3 plus into minus minus root 3 into root 3 root 3 whole square 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 root cancel that is minus 3 so here the polynomial x square minus 3 is comparing with is comparing with ax square plus bx plus c when it is comparison the a value is here x square quotient there is no nothing but that one x quotient is b here there is no x quotient there is no x quotient means what zero so here x square 1 x square plus 0 x minus 3. We can write as the polynomial 1 x square plus 0 x plus minus 3. So that is a value is 1, b value is 0, c value is minus 3. So what the relation between zeros and the quotient? Sum of the zeros is minus b by a. Product of zeros is c by a. So that is here alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. That is minus 0 by 1. That is equal to 0. So, 0 of anything, 0. Next, alpha into beta is c by a. c is minus 3 by 1. That is equal to minus 3. So, this is the way to find the zeros and verify the relationship between zeros and quotients. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe our YouTube channel and share to your friends. Thank you.